Good day, I'd like to show you how to use the sweep tool. So let's have some fun. I'm gonna delete the box. I'm gonna create just a few different things. So we'll start off with this uh, basic uh, circle. What I would normally do is use a line tool to uh, extrude this out. So I'm gonna bring this upward. Actually, you can go to different uh, views. I'm gonna go straight up. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit and also snap the grid. That way you can snap to things. So let's just go here, 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 and right click. So what you can do, if you go to the side view, is you can add in um, more details with this other tool here, the split tool. So let's say I want to have it basically cut right there. And then if you go to the opposite side, you can do the same thing on this one, right there. Okay, so now if you hit this tool here and look for the things, you'll see that we got the two here. You go back to the uh, side view. One's higher than the other, of course, so you can just move that up so it lines up. Here we go. Now, what you can do is take these two top ones and again go to the side view, move them out. This is a real easy way just to get some different looks on your stuff. So here, I'm going to go ahead and select this. Use the fillet tool and pull this out so it's a nice curvature. Same thing with these, I'm gonna hit the shift key, hold that. And this way you can get a nice curvature on the base there. There we go. All right, so that's that. Um, so the disc is kind of small compared to the rest of course, so I can make that a little bigger if I want. I right click to get rid of that. I could scale this up, this tool here if I want. Um, so that's that. Alright, so let's go ahead and take this object now. What I'm going to do is make sure I select this. Make sure it's selected and then now I'm going to use the sweep tool to go around this object here. As you see, it makes a really nice um, curvature. So that's one way to make a, a cool handle real easily. Okay, so now Let's go ahead and do this again. I'm going to start from here. I'm going to go to the other view. This time, I'm going to go about there. I'm going to go as far out this time. About there. About there. Again, I'm going to go ahead and add in some points. I'll just put it in the middle. Same with this side. In the middle. Okay, now if I go back, select points, I can actually go to the right view, Y view, and now move this out. So I'm going to put it uh, there. Alright, so let's go ahead and do the same thing. We're going to go here, let's hit the shift key, go that one, the fillet tool, let's go ahead and make that rotate it around. And then we'll do these two. Again, fillet tool. Maneuver this around. So, there we go. Now, gives you a bit better. What I can do is now go in here, make that a little bit smaller. So I have the scale button with the S key. Hit the yellow here, shrink it down. So there we go. So now, I'm going to use the sweep tool, click on that, or P, and then select this, and there you go. So that's a real easy way to use the sweep tool. Now I'm going to try some more um, difficult uh, objects. So I'm going to say cancel. So here, I'm going to go back and uh, go back to the top view, and I'm going to recreate this to even a bit more crazy. Let's go ahead and um, 
delete this. Start with a new square. Okay, I'm gonna create the box. Say okay. Now, a good way to make different shapes is to use, um, add some more detail to this. So I'm gonna actually take this off for now. I am going to center this midsection. Same thing with this side. I'm going to take away that curve. I don't want to accidentally select that by accident. Same thing here. Add more detail. So now if I go in here, you see that you got all four. Okay. So let's go back to the Z axis. Now what I'm going to do here is add a little bit more detail. So one on each center. All the way around. Let's let it hit the middle section. One there. One there. If you just get close to it, it actually snaps. There we go. And last one. There. Okay, so that's that. Now what I'm going to do also is um, bring another one there. That's, if you zoom in a little bit more, it's a little easier. basically add these sections throughout so we have more control. And I'll probably go back and delete some of these things. You're going to need to have one, two, three, one, two, three throughout. One, two, three again. Something here. Something there. Basically go all the way around. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is basically select these three and these three and scale them inward. And basically you're going to go to 0.75. So it's exact. So okay. Then we'll take these three. These three. Again, same thing. Scale. 0.75 on this axis. Say okay. All right. That's that. Now what I'm going to do is go back in, delete these, delete all these ones that you don't need anymore. So that way we can cut it or make it smoother around those. Delete those. So now you got a nice edge. So select these outer ones. The shift key. Select each one. Use the fillet tool. So those are nice and rounded. Now what I'm going to do is hit these uh, outer ones. This way you got a nice sharp and smooth edge. Again, hit the play tool. Uh, trying to do this on a different program would be very difficult. All right, so that's that. And then I'm gonna also gonna create a little bit more of a curvature, just in the inners, just a little bit. Just to give it a little bit more of a softer look. So just do something like this. Okay. So now that we've got this shape, here we go. All right, so we end up closer. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this line. There's no need for that. All right, so let's use this one. And then we're going to sweep it along 
that one. So hit the sweep or the shift P. And we'll select this line. And as you can see, you can make some really intricate um, sweeps that are, you can really do this if you want to try to model this on your own. So to go back to uh, other options that you might have is you can hide this. All right, so what I thought I would do on this video is show you um, a lot quicker way uh, to use these uh, curves. So I created the first curve, which I showed you um, for this to go around. Um, and I showed you a regular uh, line as well. But what I've done is place these um, in different locations with these different shapes. Just to show you the differences between the, the ones here. So what I'm going to do is make sure I hit the face tool. And I'm going to actually select uh, each of these objects and show you kind of what it forms. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, so now I selected this. I'm going to make sure I hit the sweep tool or shift P. And then I'm going to select this line. So that's one. So now once you say OK, make sure you say OK, because if you don't, it just won't, I guess, uh, take. So if you select this now, and again, hit the sweep tool with this one. So each of these makes a different shape, of course. So let's go ahead and go with this one. Sweep tool, a little bit smaller. Say OK. And the same with this one. Hit the uh, sweep tool, shift P. And then hit this one. As you can see, all these different shapes are created, all from that different shapes, as well as that same curve. Of course, they all have a different look to them. So another thing you can do is you could actually take these objects and combine them if you wanted to. Um, let's just say that um, you like the shape, but you want to add some detail to this. You could actually just use this and the circle and create one shape and then rotate it around. Or you could take the shapes and combine them. Um, but for this exercise, I'll show um, another way to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and hide these real quickly. Hide these. And I'll go ahead and take this and make sure the snap's on. And I'm going to move this over to this shape. OK. So now we got these two shapes together. Say OK. I'm going to do the same thing now. I'm going to combine these two and rotate that around. So take both of these, hit the actual um, face tool, and now I'm going to hit the again, the ship be, and have that go around. And I'll select this object. There we go. So again, really cool making complex shapes. Um, what I would do then is go in and hit the line tools, like this one, this one, the inners. Make sure you get all of them, all four. And then now you can pull it out. Actually take the snap off because it's trying to do too much. So if they go out just a little bit. I think it went too far. Let's see. There we go. Actually what I would recommend, say cancel, is doing the first the outer and then do the inner because that could be a whole different look. So let's just do this a little bit. Something like maybe 0.59. Say okay. I can do the inners. Again, we can make this more smooth. That way it's not competing with each other. There we go. Trying to do this on another program would be difficult, as you can say. Very difficult. Um, so that looks really cool. Um, if you guys uh, like what you see, please subscribe. I'll continue to make things to show how to get stuff done. All right, thank you.